everyone, this is Yami, your Latina next door. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited because today we have the second installment of the Look For Less Challenge. If you are new here, welcome. I am so glad you're here. And if you have not heard of the Look For Less Challenge, I just started it last month. And every month I have a brand new co-host to co-host this challenge with me. And it's basically a challenge where we take an expensive item from a high-end designer store and we recreate it at a much smaller price. And I would like to give a special thank you to Sarah over at Creative Ramblings, who was my co-host for this month of August. She has so many colorful and fun DIYs on her channel. You guys have to check them out from drinks to home decor and even accessories. So go over there and give her a subscribe. Now this is open to all YouTubers and I have a playlist right now if you have joined us this month so that you can add your videos below and check out everybody else along in this challenge and see what they created this month. I will make sure to link it in the description box below. All right, so I have to start with an apology. I was supposed to do another project for this month and it was gonna be a little bit larger one. However, we had two issues. The first one, we had a water leak. One of our pipes from our drainage for our bathrooms was leaking into our garage. Yep, that totally sucked. And I will be having a video coming up very soon with my dear husband. He's gonna be making his debut. He's gonna show you guys how we fixed it, how much money we saved because we got a quote on it and it was ridiculous. And my husband was like, I can do this myself. And we recorded the entire thing. That way, in case it ever happens to you, you know how to fix it. You're welcome. Reason number two, because <laughs> there's always one more, right? I ordered one of the items that I needed in order to make over my look for less piece and it got here and it was damaged and I had to get a replacement and till this day I have not received that replacement so scratch that but good thing I had a couple of other ones up my sleeve so I was ready with the replacement for you guys and I promise you're gonna like this one just the same and I swear I am not a one-trick pony kind of girl but this is another Pottery Barn dupe. And I didn't realize how much I like Pottery Barn until I started making these videos because they have so many nice things and I never go to their store because I know I can't buy their stuff because it's just too expensive. <sighs> okay, if I get that replacement piece that I'm waiting for, next month will not be Pottery Barn, I swear. But this one is and it's these vases right here. The first time I saw these, you guys, oh my God, they were so beautiful. And I'm like, why would I pay $50 for one vase? I mean, that's ridiculous, right? Or 79, I think is the one that's the most, exp yes, the one that's most expensive is $79. My husband likes to call me a hoarder because I had these vases among other things, in my house for about 10 years without using them because honestly, they just weren't the right color. You know, we grow out of our old design styles and we, you know, evolve to better, nice, you know, looking stuff. So he says I'm a hoarder. I say, that's such a strong word. I'm more of like an opportunist in a positive way because I was waiting for the right opportunity to use these bad boys. He's gonna see this video and he's gonna shake his head. But before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're gonna wanna see next month's video and the one after that and the one after that. All right, enough blabbing. Let's get on with the video. Okay, you guys, here's a sneak peek of what I created and here is how I did it. I'm starting off with this round vase that I um, actually shared with you guys in my last thrift store haul and these stencils that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now after I spray painted this vase white because it was not this color, I added painter's tape and I started adding this clay-like Martha Stewart paint to the bottom. Now you can get that paint at your local Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, I took a little fan artist brush and I started adding it throughout the top, adding like little pieces of clay kind of like poking through the white. And then I added a nice little rim as an accent to the top of the vase. 
Then I used this simple acrylic paint in this color and I cut the stencil from the larger piece and started adding it throughout the vase in this pattern. Now it will get a little messy and the stencil won't come out perfect. Um, I did use a little bit of spray adhesive to hold the stencil in place, but as you can see, it just kept coming off. Now I did think it looked a little bit emptier than the original, so I started adding a couple of extra dots in a different color using a little craft mat stick. And that was basically it for the round one. Now for the two square vases, I painted them white and then I used painter's tape to add that really pretty clay color on the bottom of both. Then I had a stencil and I used that same blue in order to add an even pattern all throughout the front and back of both of them. And oh my goodness, look at how these turned out. These are absolutely my favorite. And I even like how the stencils didn't come out perfectly even. I think it makes it look even more authentic. Now remember that round one? This is what it used to look like when I hauled it. And now this is what it is. Now, I think I did pretty good, you guys. If you recall, the originals were $49 to $79 a piece. I already had two of my vases and the paint colors. All I had to get was basically that one round vase and those stencils, which I got both for 40% off with those little coupons that you get. So, honestly, I was only in for $11 for all three pieces. I think I did pretty good. You guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am so excited. These turned out pretty amazing, and even though they're not perfect, I think it kind of adds to the character, right? Because the ones on their website, was they weren't perfect either. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, and tell me in the comments below which one vase style was it that you liked the most. Oh, and if you want to see any more of my videos, I will go ahead and link to some right now. Do you see the theme? It's coming up, y'all.